The Avro Canada VZ-9 Avrocar is a unique and intriguing experimental aircraft designed for vertical takeoff and landing. Developed by Avro Canada in the early years of the Cold War, the Avrocar was intended to exploit the Coando effect to provide lift and thrust from a single turborotor blowing exhaust out of the rim of the disc-shaped aircraft. Originally designed as a high-speed fighter, the project was scaled back over time and eventually abandoned by the United States Air Force. The United States Army later took over the project, aiming to create a tactical combat aircraft similar to a high-performance helicopter. The Avrocar was the brainchild of designer John Jack Frost, who joined Avro Canada in 1947 after working for several British firms. Frost's innovative design featured a disc-shaped aircraft with a central turborotor powered by three Continental J69T9 jet engines. The aircraft was designed to sit pointed up for vertical takeoff and landing operations, supported by long landing legs, and to land at a high angle. The Avrocar's design was particularly challenging due to stability issues in hover and the need for a large area to direct thrust downward. The project faced numerous challenges including funding issues and technical problems. In 1952, the Canadian Defence Research Board funded the effort, but further funding was not forthcoming. The United States military became involved in 1953, and the project was taken over by the United States Army in 1958. Two prototypes were built, designated VZ-9AV, with the Army referring to them as the Avrocar. The Evercar's design featured a disc-shaped aircraft with a diameter of 18 feet and a thickness of 3.5 feet. The turborotor had 124 blades and was powered by three jet engines, each with its own fuel and oil tanks. The aircraft's undercarriage consisted of three small castering wheels, and the pilot controlled the craft through a single side-mounted control stick. The attitude and thrust control system consisted of a large ring situated outside the main disc, which could be moved to affect airflow and provide directional control. Despite its innovative design, the Avrocar faced significant technical challenges. During testing, it was discovered that the craft was inherently unstable in forward flight and it suffered from a phenomenon known as hub capping, where the aircraft would roll from side to side. Modifications were made to improve stability, but the Avrocar never achieved its intended performance. The project was ultimately cancelled in September 1961 due to unresolved thrust and stability problems. The Avrocar left a lasting impression on the aviation industry, despite its technical failures. Its design influenced future vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and hovercraft technology. The two prototypes are now on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force and the United States Army Transportation Museum. The Avrocar's unique design and the challenges it faced make it a fascinating chapter in the history of experimental aviation.